what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of connection server network issue error whatever you're having currently in seven days to die so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work here on youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so the first step is gonna be to take your keyboard you're gonna write you're gonna click the windows and the r key at the same time so click that and uh you're gonna type in cmd and hit enter afterwards so once you hit enter you should be able to see this little tab popping up and i want you to type in what i'm going to type in so ip config space slash flush dns and hit enter once it is successfully flushed i want you to end this task again and the next step is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen clicking on the windows symbol clicking into settings and navigating to network internet where i want you to uh, stick around status and navigate to the very bottom where it says network troubleshooter you're going to use windows in order to find every kind of issue you could currently have if nothing pops up click onto network and sharing center and afterwards to the top left corner go to there and click onto the second link where it says change adapter settings you're going to stick onto ethernet or internet it just depends on which which one you're currently using you're going to right click and click onto disable afterwards click on enable again and once it is enabled just simply end this task so end this and um, return back to your network and sharing center uh, where I want you to click again to change the adapt adapter settings basically and so it's not enabled enable it again you're gonna wait a few seconds wait 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 until it's connected once it is connected simply return back click on that so I want you to click into Ethernet or Internet again same thing click into properties Double click Internet Protocol version 4. Enable, use the following DNS server address. On the preferred DNS server, type in your Google DNS server address or 4 times 8. On the alternate DNS server, 2 times 4, 2 times 8, or the Google DNS server address. Once you finish, click OK and apply. That's it for the video, guys. I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.